Hello YouTube. Okay. So I was having another little nose around the old internet. And I come across a little circuit. Uh, it's like a little microphone, you know, a wireless transmitter. And I suppose it could be like a considered a bug circuit, FM transmitter. I got it connected. This now, believe me, this is not the way you're supposed to set these up for all the stuff that I read. But I really didn't think it was going to work. You know, I figured, oh, well, it's probably going to be trial and error, trial and error, messing about. And I'm surprised it actually, it, it just works straight off the bat. So, and it's not brilliant. My connections are absolutely terrible. Um, they're not soldered. And this negative will just go the other side of this capacitor. Um, as this is like the, the line uh, capacitor. Got a little electric microphone, electret. Um, now all these are like real cheap parts from uh, from China. It passes everything. Uh, I didn't think it was actually going to work very well because also these um, I think it's BC five four seven transistor. From what I've been reading, is some of these transistors will work, some of them won't, but this does. Now it's not brilliant. It's the first one. It's not laid out on a on a bit of PCB the way it's supposed to be. Um, and there's lots of you know mess that can be picked up for all these wires the way they are. From what I understand, but. It's my first little, my first little FM transmitter. I built a kit, uh, and that worked. So I was quite chuffed about that. I think I've just broken this. I just pulled that that wire off there. I have, you oh, know, easy enough to solder back on. Um, yeah. So, like I say, I built a kit before. Um, I think the kit came from the same fur as where this this um, this came from. This circuit, this circuit is another one from uh, Talking Electronics. There's quite a few um, on the pages there. The FM transmitters, brilliant site to look at, and it tells you all about the layout and everything. And like I said, well, I I built it like this, this point to point because I figure well if something's not right or if I get it wrong um, like I put a 2.2 .2 nanofarad in rather than a 22 nanofarad across here uh, I only noticed it when I was just looking at them once I'd soldered it in and I thought oh no that's uh, that's 2.2 uh, basically it was 2.2 nanofarads oh where is it where's it gone oh, put it back in there but one of my bags is marked up wrong anyway it's marked up 22 nanofarads when it's 2.2 .2 nanofarads now if I'd have done that on a PCB that would have been a right pain in the backside for me to take out and I'd have you know just struggled with it but doing it like this this point to point it does look a bit messier but you do get to bend stuff around to where you need them and it's quite easy to take something off or resolder something like that that there, as you can see, it's come away. Um, so yeah. So let's have a little listen to it. Oh, by the way, um, I haven't got a radio. All I've got is this old bit of board now. The wires that I've chucked on there um, basically gives me a speaker out and a power in. Uh, it doesn't have an aerial as such and it's quite terrible really I use it, I've got power by my little uh, little thing here and although that's making a lot of noise now when this is connecting on 
and the wire is soldered, that one that's come off, it actually goes silent on that channel. Um, and then you can hear, you can hear this this thing. I can adjust the frequency of the way it transmits by. If I want the frequency to be lower, I squeeze this coil together. Six turns here. I actually took that out of an old radio. Um, Did it come off this board? Yeah, it came off this board from just down in there. Um, there's, there's loads on there, so I'm going to do some some good playing around with these little bug things. And so, but this is my first one, um, and it's it's not being picked up on the greatest piece of equipment, but it it does get it there. And uh, a little listen now. Not as good as what you might hope, but. As far as I can make out, it's working. Yeah, it's just a, like a, a little transmitter. Not a very good one. It's my first one. But it does sound like there's a bit of sound coming out my speaker, which is good. But it'll be interesting to see whether that sound is audible or not. So, I'm, I'm going to try it in a different room now. Okay. I wonder if it works like that. Hello, hello, testing, one, two, three, two, three, three. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Hello, testing, testing. As far as I can get away uh, from that little radio thing, but it seems to work not brilliantly. But then I'm using very, very cheap parts. All of these parts are from China, and they're all very, very cheap. I'm actually surprised it works at all. 